guys, let us have a, let us have a chat. I'm gonna pause the music so we can have a little, I need some like spilling tea. Uh, I need some like spilling tea music. Um, let's see. Okay, epic, here we go. Yep. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. This is the stuff, guys. This is the stuff. Here we go. Okay, here is the dealio, everyone. Today was an interesting day. A very interesting day. This music fits really well, honestly. I, I like it. <sighs> there was... There was a problem. And that problem was... There was a point that our dear friend, Sebastian Vettel, could have gotten a penalty. Not because of what he did on track, but because of a shirt he was wearing off track during the National Anthem. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just, uh, let me just quick pull up this photo for you. Um, because so, some of you, some of you may not know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> thanks for dropping a follow. As many of you may know, um, I, I don't know the full story behind it because I, you know, I haven't done a lot of research, but Hungary and and gay rights is not something that really coincides at all. And here's a little thing. Thank you for clipping that, Jack. Appreciate that. Here's here's the thing about Josh, guys. I have quite a lot of friends who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, what like all across the spe spectrum. And I have had some of those friends before be fired from jobs be forced to quit so they weren't fired but they were basically said hey you need to quit or we're gonna fire you because of their sexuality now granted this was a few years ago but one of my very good friends had this happen with a place that he loved and we both worked there at the time this is not okay it is 2021 and I know that there are a lot of things in the world that needs fixed guys I know there's a lot of problems in the world but it is 20 21 and the fact that people are still worried to come out about their sexuality because of rules because of governments because of what people they think people will think it's terrible so Sebastian Vettel our amazing friend who can come on stream anytime he wants to honestly I I I will invite him you know come hang out honestly um, he was an ally this weekend and our homie let's just take a look wore this shirt <laughs> oh it's that way this shirt during the uh during the national anthem he had the mask on um <clears throat> he had the mask on he also had shoes at one point and his helmet the entire weekend had a pride flag on it the whole weekend the whole weekend now, I heard a rumor from people. I, I don't think it actually came true. I don't think he actually got a penalty, but there was a rumor that, oh, this is not full screen. That's on me, that's on me. One second, let's fix that. Um, that Seb would get a penalty because he was wearing that during the National Anthem. And here's the thing about Josh, guys. I respect cultures. I respect different cultures, different countries, that we all have different things. I get it, you know? like. You, you can't tell, uh, oh geez, I'm so bad with words. Uh, what's the, Hajib? I, I'm so bad with names, wait, wait, wait. What's the, the official, I need to get this right, otherwise it'll be a Muslim headdress name. Hijab, to or a burqa, yeah, so like a hijab or a burqa. There was a time where you would be like, let go from a job or not allowed to enter somewhere because you were wearing that. And literally, it was a cultural thing. People were wearing it because like, it is part of their culture, it's part of their religion. Now, on a similar note, if Sebastian Vettel wants to wear this shirt during the National Anthem, I get that there's things going on in Hungary, but guess what? That's fucking why he did it. I'm sorry, there's gonna be a little bit of swearing right now, guys. But that is literally why he did it. It is about making a statement. People didn't like it when people were kneeling during the National Anthem in the US at NFL games. And you know why they didn't like it? Because they were racist. Because they did not approve of what the other people were standing for. And the fact that there was even a possibility 
the smallest, minutest consideration that Sebastian Vettel would get a penalty for wearing this shirt during the national anthem is ridiculous. Because whatever that penalty was, it would have been too much. If it was a grid place penalty in the next race, too much. If it had been seconds on this race, too much. I don't care what the penalty is, it would have been too fucking much. The fact that it is July, oh shit, it's August. The fact that it is August 1st, 2021, and this is a debated topic. Again, I get that it's a different country, so there's a little, it's, it gets a little weirder in different countries. I get that it's a different country, so it's a little funkier. The fact that this is still a hotly debated topic about can people that are people that have different sexualities do they have rights are they people are they humans Jesus Christ everyone yes the answer is yes the answer will always be yes and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfectly brutally honest with t twist chat for a minute brutally brutally honest as someone that grew up in the church as a Christian and would still consider himself Christian but has kind of distanced himself from the church for a very long time, for, for a while, this is, this right here, moments like this, with how people react to Seb, are the exact reason why. Because, let me tell you a little something, guys. If you don't know a lot about Christianity, one of the big things they te teach is about loving your neighbor, turning the other cheek, and it's all about love. Well, guess what? 2020 and 2021 showed us something. Christians don't really care that much about love, apparently. It's awkward, guys. It's awkward, but apparently they don't because they preach love and I'm saying this as someone someone that still considers themselves a Christian distanced clarify distance but the fact that a group that preaches love every single week in so many different Bible verses and everything to their kids from when they were younger and then has the audacity has a motherfucking audacity to be like mm, actually you don't really fit into like what we like, so we don't actually have to love you because you're gay, you're bi, you're trans. We don't really like that. Oh, you're black? Yeah, we don't we don't really want to love you either. That's not okay. End of story. End of question. It's not okay. There is literally no reason why this fantastic, beautiful man right here should ever even have considered there being a possibility that he would get a penalty for this wearing the shirt during the anthem. People that say politics and issues do not have a place in sports are wrong. They are wrong. Let me tell you something. Over the last three months, I've gained a small platform. Now it's not a big platform. We had 30,000 today, but it is a platform nonetheless. And I would be doing a disservice to myself, to the people that I call friends, to the people that I call family, to the people that follow me, if I did not address this, just like when we addressed everything that happened with Lewis. I'm gonna say it right now, and I'm very grateful I've had, I've seen nothing hateful in any of my comments, except against me, which I can take that, that's fine. You, If you wanna put a, leave a hateful comment toward me, like, screw you. But if I ever, if I ever see someone leaving a comment that is hateful against a certain race, against a religion, against someone's sexuality, you will be blocked and banned from my channel on all platforms from that moment to the end of time. I would literally hand off my channel to someone else when I died later in life and be like, oh yeah, guess what? You stale banned, son. Don't cross me, okay? That's all. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. It's just infuriating. Infuriating? Wow, that, was, that was a tough word, honestly. It is just infuriate in why can't i say this word infuriating i got it it is just infuriating that this is still a discussion that is going on in 2021 there is no reason the kid on the block thank you for resubscribing for three months what up so um i'm gonna take a moment and drink a little water that music really <laughs> really fit way way too well with that speech um so yeah, it just, it, it makes me mad, it makes me sad, and it makes me disappointed in a lot of different people around the world. So, yeah, and it's, it's, 
it's unfortunate and it is sad that this is still a problem but here's the deal guys it's kind of like there's a lot of problems in the world and uh i i'm in that generation being 25 where we don't technically have a generation at all like we're not really a, a generation technically um we are could we can decide i feel like the people that are in that 23 to like 27 where we're like we could be millennials we could be gen z you have a decision to make and me i would rather lead toward gen z because gen z is the ones that yeah they're a little crazy sometimes they're a little, a little, a little overboard sometimes but they're also the ones that are honestly going to get shit done in the world they're going to get it done and i want to be with that side uh yeah exactly 19 it's such a weird they're like there's such a weird range um Oh, don't worry. We'll put up a clip of this. This will go up on YouTube if you if you missed the uh, the speech. Um, yeah. Also, how did you guys tie those hydrates together? That was weird. So yes, I've done the shoey. Sorry. Uh, there is a clip up on Twitch. Uh, my man Cap and Jack clipped it for me because he's a real homie. Um, and we'll make sure to put that up. Oh, okay. So sometimes, thank you for the little speech. Oh, Lila, I am so sorry. I have seen that with other people. I have just, yeah, I am so sorry for you, but know that you're loved here and we love you and this can be your family. This, this is the family, guys. This is, this is the F1 family. We've had good vibes, Golden. What are you talking about? Uh, so like, this is, this is a place for everyone. I don't care who you are, what you are. I, I don't care. I don't even care who you're a fan of. You could be... You'd be a Mazpin fan, and guess what? We would still accept you. We might, we might give you a little bit of crap, as you should expect. Lisa, thank you for the follow. <sighs> okay, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna change playlist. We're gonna go back to some bops, because yeah, that was a little. Okay, that was a lot, guys. If you uh, hung around, which was like all of you, impressive.